let's talk a little bit about the the two one of the two types of algae that you're going to see growing in your pond this summer. That's the single cell algae, sometimes called pea soup green. And all it is is a little tiny algae, but billions of them that are in your water. And again, they are caused by an imbalance in your pond. You have not enough filtration, too many fish, and probably you have too much nutrient in your water and too little bacteria. So what does that mean? Well, most everybody thinks that the purpose of the pond is to have a lot of beautiful fish. So we have people come in and they've got a 2,000 gallon pond and they've got 50 fish in there. That waste is gonna take a huge, huge bacteria colony to reduce the amount of waste and make it usable by the plants. So that they're probably not ever gonna be successful at getting their pond as clear as they would like to have it. We always recommend no more than four fish inches per hundred gallons of water. So you take your fish and lay them nose to tail out on the ground and, and measure them, don't really do that. But measure them in, in your mind and think about how many feet of fish you have and determine your volume of your pond. Everything starts with the volume how big your pump is, how big your waterfall is, how big your skimmer is, how many fish you can have. All of that has to do with the volume of your water. And when you, when you don't have balance in any of those things, when something's off, you're gonna see a result. And that result typically is algae, single cell algae. But get a clear glass, take a, a cup of water and hold it up where you can look through it and see do you really have single cell algae floating in there? Is it green? Is it maybe brown from rain runoff coming into and bringing dirt into your pond and then you can't see your fish or you can't see the bottom? It could be either one of those things. So take a clear glass first and do that. And then think about dilution. The, the solution to pollution is dilution. So what I'm saying is I want you to take out 25% of your water, put fresh water back in. You've just diluted the amount of algae in your pond and the amount of nutrient in there that the algae is growing on. So you wanna be sure that you do that on a regular basis. We recommend 10% a week. If you can't do that, then do it 20% every two weeks. So do a nice change of water, that reduces the nutrient, that gives your bacteria colony a chance to balance out the amount of ammonia that's in there. And second, we recommend that you call the, the herd. You want to make sure that you save the prettiest fish. You want to make sure that you are, your fish are breeding to the good characteristics and not breeding back to the original carp color, uh, which some of you may like, but still, uh, it's the recessive gene. So you want to make sure that you're, you're giving away, taking care of, all of those other fish that you don't need in your pond. Those are some simple things you can do without buying chemicals that will help you reduce the amount of pea soup green in your, in your pond. We have, of course have all kinds of chemicals that will do that for you, but once you start treating with an algicide that kills the algae, the algae's got to go somewhere. It's gonna get trapped in your filter, at the top of the waterfall, in your bog, or in your skimmer, and you're gonna to have to clean those out on a more regular basis. Or, if it doesn't get trapped in a filter, it's going to the bottom of the pond. And that becomes muck. I, I don't know that that's the scientific term for it, but that's what I call it. That's probably what you call it too. And we know what it is. It's that silt-like stuff that builds up at the bottom of the pond, and you can't get it out. If the fish swim down near it, it stirs it up in the water column. So. In order to take care of that, there's bacteria that can help eat that up and get rid of it. But one of the best things you can do is to cut down on the number of fish that you have in your pond and make sure that they're the best and the prettiest, the ones that you really love. I know it's hard to get rid of fish, but you need to find friends in the Water Garden Club or Water Garden Society around you, put out the word and let people know you have fish to give them. That's the safest thing you can do. Don't put them in any public waterways. That's not legal and not nice either. So keep those things in mind as we start going through the winter time. When you get ready for spring, you're gonna to have to clean out 
any of the muck that you can get out of the bottom, leaves if you let any fall in during the fall or the winter, and you're going to have to start treating with bacteria in order to build that colony up so that you've got enough to offset the increased waste the fish are soon going to start releasing. Uh, if you have any questions about that, you can find all kinds of information, but be sure that you're looking about information from your area. Uh, what folks do in Houston, Texas is different than what we do in Oklahoma. The people in Minnesota don't even know what we're talking about down here in Oklahoma. So make sure of your source if you're going to do any investigation for that. Single cell algae is your friend. It's not your enemy. You just think it is. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.